to the police in the Sandor region. Nah. Good
Hey guys, good morning. It is about 8.50 in the morning. It is February 8th today. And last night was the Marilyn Manson concert at 20 Monroe Live, as you guys just saw the footage for. And oh my God, it was like the most surreal thing ever. Like I have loved Marilyn Manson since I was 14. Um, and literally just like, going from like watching his music videos online to like actually being there and seeing him like in person singing those songs it was like it was insane he did amazing and the seats that me and my sister had they were perfect as well like we were up really really high but we were able to see everything the people in front of us sat down the whole time so it was just all in all like an absolute perfect night so I really hope that you guys enjoyed the footage that I got because it was such a like just magical experience for me to be there like and same for my sister too because as soon as he came out on stage and we could like physically see him oh my god it was it was freaking insane so oh I did get a shirt um I didn't I was gonna get like a tour Sure, you know where it has like all the dates and stuff on the back, but I didn't see one that I was really crazy about But I saw this one. It's just a black tee and it has his face right here From his new album and then on the back Says we know where you fucking live. I love it. So that's the little that's the merch that I got. Well, yeah, that's that. I just woke up right now, and now I'm going to take a shower, and I don't even know. I was supposed to run errands today, but it looks like it's snowing pretty hard, and I don't know if I want to be a part of that weather. So maybe I'll just hang out at home, you know, maybe do some editing, but yeah. Um, here's an update on my eyebrows. Today is day six with them, as you can see, and they're healing absolutely beautifully. Those two little blemishes went away, so she will be able to touch up spots that she couldn't hit the first time. I did get one down here now, so hopefully that one goes away, but yeah, I'm really, really excited for my second session. I think they're going to look absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, but that's just an update, and I didn't wear any makeup on them last night. Like When I did my makeup, I went around them. And then I stayed like right here with my eyeshadow. So no makeup went near them. I made sure of that. No brow pencils, no brow powder. So all my selfies on Instagram, those were just my brows. No brow products whatsoever were used. So yeah, um, that's just a little update on that. So I'm going to go take a shower because I need help. <laughs> and um, yeah, I will vlog in a little bit. Hey guys, so it is February 10th right now. I It's about maybe quarter to 10 and I just got off work as you can tell by the roughness of how I look right now. Um, it, was, it was very, very busy. And we aren't usually busy on Saturday nights, but uh, for some reason the last like month or so, we've been like super busy Saturday nights, so yeah, it was, it was a closing shift, that's for sure. So I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, tomorrow I have the Avatar concert at the intersection, so I will vlog a little bit of that. So this vlog is mostly just like concert footage and just little bits of footage that I feel like filming. Um, so I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm sorry it's so late right now, but you know, whatever. Watching Pink Sparkles in the background, if you can see that. Also, today was the launch of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. It was the launch for that today as well. And oh, you guys, the Blood Sugar Palette sold out in three 
minutes and luckily I was one of the lucky ones to be able to get a palette ordered and in my cart and everything before they sold out so I did end up ordering that so I will wait for that to come in the mail and I'll probably do like a full unboxing lip swatch I'm really really excited about it I ended up getting two liquid lips and one lip ammo and the palette so I spent a lot of money because the palette itself was like $52 plus three $18 lipsticks so $106 gone but totally worth it. It's to the point now where everything Jeffree Star Cosmetics related has turned into a collection for me. Like I'm all about collecting his makeup now. Like I have a good amount of his lipsticks that I wear regularly but a lot of the other ones are for collection purposes and I never thought because I've never really been big on collecting but when it comes to like his stuff specifically I just really like to collect it. So, like I said, tomorrow is the Avatar concert, and I did see them live once. They opened for um, Avenged Sevenfold the last time I went at the Van Andel, and this time they're going to be at the intersection. So I'm really excited to see them live again. I really enjoy their music. It's not like, I'm not like a huge like diehard fan, but I really do enjoy their music. I enjoy their sound. So I'm really excited to see that tomorrow. So right now I'm just going to finish watching YouTube videos, and I just took the puppies out, so they're they're just kind of relaxing, laying down. Hi, Jekyllberry. Hi, big boy. Hi, little girl. Hi, little girl. They've both been doing really well. Just really cuddly. We've been trying to go on walks four times a week, um, but the weather has been so crazy lately that it's just been too cold for them. So they've just been kind of, kind of relaxing playing with their toys as you can see they are everywhere in my apartment <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna get back to watching my videos and I'll talk to you guys later bye
in our presence this evening. Yeah. That's right. I'm a bit of a queen, so it's really, really, really This just goes back to when I was a little kid. On Halloween, when I was five years old, there was a guy that lived in our neighborhood. He lived on my street. You probably heard about him. He's the guy taking razor blades, sticking them in apples, and handing them out to all the children. <laughs> Most people think it's like some sort of urban legend. It's not. It's a true story. I know because uh, it was me at five years old. I, know <laughs> I had a problem back then. <laughs> That's why you can't hand out apples with razor blades in them. Now, when I show that to people, they usually think the razor blades are fake. So I brought with a little piece of paper that I'm going to slice and dice with each razor blade so you can see exactly how sharp they are. Because since I cannot hand out apples with razor blades in them for all the little trick-or-treaters to eat, I save them for me and I eat them instead. <laughs> for five or ten seconds. Now I call this trick the chainsaw of death, but I gotta know, do you guys want to see me risk my life for your entertainment? Yeah. And how many of you want to see me fuck it up and die? Yeah. My people.